Okay, so at this stage we've got uh, a starting point for making a template for our website. So all we've got is a table at the top here. Um, so this part will be blank, so we're just going to delete out those words there. And now we need to design our menu. So your menu is just a small image with your four menu items on it. So that'll be home, bulldogs, mini foxies and shih tzus. So we need to construct that. Now you can use Photoshop, which I'll show you how to use, but you need to pay for Photoshop. If you haven't got Photoshop, you can simply use Word, and I'll show you how to do a little menu in Word. And then there's also using a free editor like GIMP. So GIMP is available for um, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Uh, it's a free download and is a, a pretty good uh, image editing program which you could easily make uh, a menu for. So let's have a look at how to do our menu in Photoshop first and then I'll show you how to do it in Word. So just go File, New. Let's call our name of our project menu. The width is going to be 100 pixels wide and the height 200. All the other settings you can leave as default. Click OK. OK, let's get into the text tool down here, the big T. When you mouse over it should come up with its name. Oh, doing it today, there it goes. So just click in there, so you just need home. Now I've got 18 point as my size with this one and Arial, so that should work OK. So we've got home, we've got bulldogs, we've got mini foxy, and we've got she sees. I'm just going to make that into black. Is our color selector here, so I want to go right down to there. Click OK. And I'm just going to drag that so it sort of centers up. I can now use the arrow keys to get it exactly the way I want. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so then I'll just go File, Save As. And this will save um, your project as a Photoshop document, PSD. So I'm just going to find my correct folder. Navigate to the right folder here. Topic 7. And I'll just save it in there. And I also want to save that as either a GIF or a JPEG. It can be either, but today I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So just go File, Save As, and I'll drop down the file type to JPEG. Save as a JPEG. JPEG and it'll change its name to menu.jpg. Save, it'll ask me a few things here, just go OK and we're ready to go. I'm just going to close those. Now if you're working in Word, just type in the same words for your menu. So I'm on 11 here but I've got a 140% magnification so it's a little bit different and okay now they're not centered so I could put those in a little um, little text box and center it easily but I'm just going to leave it like that that will do for me today I'm just going to tap the cursor down so it's not in the picture and maybe tap these out a little bit. Just use my tab key. I might try to center them up a little bit. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, cursor out of the way. And just use your snip tool. Just use snip. 
you snip and just draw a little box around those that looks pretty good and just go file save as menu again and it's set to JPEG file which is what we want and just go save that's all you do that's ready to go close that one okay so now we're going to put our menu into this space here so I'm just going to take menu out and just go insert image and choose file so I want to go to topic 7 and I need that one there this is the Photoshop file this is the JPEG file and I think we can just I'll just put menu in there as well I think it really needs to have a alternative text in there and just click OK okay so there's our there's our menu sitting in there um, and that will do us for the time being in the next video I'm going to show you how to put um, hyperlinks on each of these menu items uh, get our content into the space put our headings on correctly and get everything working